Welcome Cancer to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of April for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon on the screen now. I'm showing the event chart at midnight on Monday which provides a backdrop for the whole week. Now we need to be mindful of your ruler, the Moon. And you can see the Moon is in House 10, so the chances are your feelings are going to be closer to the surface this week. It's not just because of the total solar eclipse, which occurs later on on Monday. And you can see that the Moon's very close to Venus. So that's a delightful combination. If you are someone who's a caregiver, a grandparent, a parent, uh, your more nurturing and protective energies will be very much to the fore. But other big standouts from this chart. Well, Pluto, which moved into House 8 on the 21st of January, continues to forge a brilliant link to Venus. So if your instincts are more entrepreneurial and towards business, that's a very strong alliance. And it could be that an association or connection you have with someone else is going to be very beneficial for you. But your leadership skills can definitely be showcased later on on Monday because, of course, we have that total solar eclipse in Aries, but it's combining with Chiron. If you are someone who's had a gift, and it's often the case with cancer people of management, of encouraging people, giving people guidance, or being a leader of some kind, as I mentioned, this is very much part of your uh, celestial DNA, that part of your nature is going to be elevated to an even greater high over this next half year. The issue, however, is that you may not feel that you have had the necessary acknowledgement, respect or appreciation from the people you've helped. Or that could be part of the story that you may experience over this next six months. But that doesn't mean to say you shouldn't go for it. Now, I know that Mercury is in retrograde in your 10th house. This is very much to do with goals and ambitions and success. And for sure, maybe you are rethinking some of the things you had thought you were going to go for. So things can be a little bit shifting. But despite this, Mercury does forge a very strong link to the part of fortune. So the part of fortune can be the part of a horoscope where we have some kind of breakthrough. And this one is in your sixth house. So that could be the processes, the details that you have uh, a grip on can be very important in terms of your ability to elevate your standing, impress a boss, do a presentation that grabs the attention of a potential client. But with Mercury in that retrograde, it is possible that something may just need to stay a little bit flexible. The other thing to tell you about is Mars, because Mars moved into a very adventurous part of your situation on the 23rd of March. And since then, your desire to break out, be more spontaneous, has probably been strong. But if you do want to shake things up in terms of your life role, Mars is connection with Saturn on Wednesday of this week could create some frustration. It's as if you're trying to drive somewhere but with the handbrake on. So even if you're straining every sinew in order to improve your situation, it may feel that things are going very slowly. Just be assured that by the end of this week, Mars actually starts to link up with Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is in an amazing part of your chart, and that will become exact on the 19th. Now, you may recall that Jupiter and Uranus are going to come into an exact conjunction on the 21st of April. Mars will be in that as well, in a sextile to them. So... The ideas that you've been generating since the 23rd of March are not lost. They're going through a proofing period. So it's possible information that you had been basing some of your uh, goals and expectations upon has been faulty. Perhaps there has been frustrations around a mode of transport that's proved unreliable. Perhaps your internet connection hasn't been great. If you have been traveling somewhere to do with your work or you do this week, it might not necessarily be an easy uh, trip, but the resistance that you meet 
requires a response. And on Thursday, as Mercury meets with the Sun, the retreat in Mercury, we have a Kazemi. So something that you had set your sights on may need to flex a little bit, but once you've accepted that, then you can go again. And by the end of this week, as I mentioned, Mars is very supportive to you. So the total solar eclipse and the fact that Venus and the Moon are together at the start of this week, and Pluto supportive to Venus, and the fact that Mercury in its retrograde fortune is a great link to the part of fortune, suggests you can show more determination and you can thrust forwards over the next half year towards some significant goals. But it just may be that this week you do need to check out that if you're being inhibited in any way because you don't feel celebrated and if you are aware of that and that of course can be very disappointing it doesn't change the fact that your gift to help people is still very strong so with Chiron we need to celebrate the gift as much as grieve what we don't get and the overall big picture of your chart particularly with Jupiter and Uranus in terms of your longer term future, as long as you're open to fresh approaches, is very, very dynamic indeed. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week and please like, comment, share or subscribe.